population density and migration. In this module, you will learn about the features of population density in India, causes for migration and types of migration. Population density provides a better understanding of the distribution of population in a given region or area. Population density is calculated as the total number of persons per unit area. It provides the number of people per square kilometer. India has a high population density with uneven distribution. For example, West Bengal has a density of 904 persons per square kilometer, while Arunachal Pradesh has a density of only 13 persons per square kilometer. The state of Bihar has highest population density in India. The following table lists the increase in density through the decades. Based on the density of population, India is divided into three zones. These are high density zone, moderate density zone and low density zone. Let us learn about each zone in detail. The high density zone includes areas having more than 500 people per square kilometer. The states falling under the high density zone are Bihar, West Bengal, Kerala, Haryana, Uttar Pradesh, Tamil Nadu and Punjab. The moderate density zone includes areas having a population of 251 to 500 people per square kilometer. The states falling under the moderate density zone are Assam, Gujarat, Goa, Maharashtra, Karnataka, Jharkhand, Andhra Pradesh, Telangana, Odisha and Tripura. The areas in the low density zone have a population of less than 250 people per square kilometer. The states falling under the low density zone are Chhattisgarh, Madhya Pradesh, Uttarakhand, Rajasthan, Himachal Pradesh, Manipur, Meghalaya, Jammu and Kashmir, Nagaland, Sikkim, Mizoram, Andaman and Nicobar Islands, and Arunachal Pradesh. The composition, distribution and growth of population is a dynamic phenomenon. It is influenced by several processes of change. These processes include the birth rate, death rate and migration. Migration refers to the movement of people across regions and territories. A migrant refers to a person who has shifted from his birthplace and settled in another place. People migrate to different places for various reasons such as marriage, employment opportunities, trade, better living conditions, social security, health, etc. Push factors such as poverty and unemployment cause people to leave their homes. Pull factors such as better lifestyle, education, healthcare, employment opportunities cause people to move to better areas. Migration can be internal, that is, within the country, or international, between the countries. Internal migration means shifting from one place to another within the country. In India, internal migrations can be classified into four types, namely rural to rural migration, rural to urban migration, urban to rural migration, and urban to urban migration. Internal migration does not change the size of population. It only influences the distribution of population within the country. International migration refers to shifting from one country to another. Migration causes a number of problems. Rural to urban migration forces migrants to live in slums due to inadequate housing facilities in urban areas. 
it mounts pressure on basic public amenities and services, such as supply of water, electricity, means of transport, and education. Migration also affects the cultural identity of migrants. The government has taken a number of steps in curbing the problems due to rural migration. Industrial units have been set up outside city limits, thus encouraging workers to live in satellite towns. Public facilities have been improvised and expanded. The transportation facilities between cities and towns have been improved. Let us now recap all the important points that we have covered in this module on the population density and migration.